we're going to go through it. There is a hierarchy. Let's go back to the pictures. There's a hierarchy of clowns. Clowns start at white pace and they work the tram. And then there's also different kinds of clowns besides that. So you have your standard clowns and then you have uh, two basically other types of clowns. One's called a light goose which is a minimal makeup, have a, which is a character clown. And a character clown would be a waiter. Starting off the very first one is what's called a neat white face. Uh, or these are the, are the porcelain clowns. The ones that you see statues made out of. They're all white, they're all perfect. They're, they're all, the costumes are perfect. Their shoes perfect. Everything is absolutely perfect on them. You couldn't ask for anything more immaculate than they are. And they are characterized by totally being totally white. Hair, head, everything is white. Uh, the eyes are made up just like, well, more like women's eyes. They're very, you, know, you can see where their, their mascara and the uh, eyeliner and stuff is all perfect on there. The nose is very small, little tiny dot like the and the lips are just like lipstick on a lady. Okay? They, their shoes is more like, um, not ballerina shoes, but uh, clothes. They're, they're um, uh, slip-ons. They're not a heavy leather or anything like that. They're slip-on cloth shoes. The costume itself is extremely ornate and uh, Lots of frills, lots of color, absolutely perfect. Everything matches. Everything matches. Okay? Gloves, they have to have gloves and everything. That's the, the neat white face on it. Now, that is the top of the list. Nothing happens to the white face clown. If anybody tries to play a trick on the white face clown, it backfires and, and gets on the other one. If, this, if you were going to throw a pie at a clown and you aimed it at this one, this one would duck. It would hit somebody else. Mm. This one would come out totally clean, never ruffle or anything. Now, in competition, there's uh, at convention stuff. There's a lot of conventions around once a year, maybe twice a year, depending on what group you're with, whatever. Vaughn just came back from one, one bunch of the awards down here. He always went to work. Now he's saying, He's so good, now he's teaching at the conventions. I said, we do good at this, this little alley. Well, okay. The next type of clown would be the comedy white face. It's not in here. Comedy white face would be something similar to... If you look back there where the Batman is, it'd be the upper cowboy in the right-hand corner. Okay, comedy white face has a, a, a red lower lip, not the upper lip, lower lip only. Usually got some sort of a marking at the end of the lip of some nature. Uh, the eyes are usually uh, heavily marked with eyebrows and stuff. Got a big red nose. They got colorful hair. And the costume usually matched. Okay, which means that they, uh, the Whatever costume you would put on, it would be a matching upper and lower part. And the comedy white face is right under the white face. Usually nothing happens to him but could. There's that possibility, but it usually doesn't. Right after that is what is called a goose, which would be the second page with this guy here. A goose is a, uh, a type of clown that's He's the slapstick of the clowns. He's the one that's going to do the rat fall, the uh, hit the pie in the face, that sort of thing. He is the one that's going to be the gotcha. And everything's got a gotcha on like him. Like the bull at the rodeos? No, the rodeo is a totally, totally separate, different kind of clown. Um, those clowns are, I, I don't know if they're insane or, or just brave to no end. Anybody that stands out there and wants to be in the arena with a, a live thing that's going to kill you, 
Yeah. And goes up there and goes, boogie boogie, come chase me. <laughs> but their makeup is usually Nagoose type. No, sometimes it's Nagoose, sometimes white face. But it's uh, it would be a, a lighter form of this. They just kind of throw some stuff onto them. And they usually don't have a whole full face like this one. Full face is usually some sort of a fleshy color, either pink or, or flesh color around the outside area. The mouth is very largely exaggerated. Okay, this particular guy works, but he really shouldn't have. He, he used the black over his upper lip. And normally that's not done. It would usually be with just lower lip only because when you smile or open your mouth, you only use your part. So every time you open your mouth, it makes you smile more. The, the eyes are usually uh, exaggerated. Uh, eyebrows are exaggerated, heavy, usually. The heavier <clears throat> your makeup is, the, the depending on what you're putting it on. If you're going out for a stage performance, you put it on heavier, so it shows up further away. If you're gonna do a birthday party, you use it smaller, so you don't scare the kids. Uh, usually it's a, a large red nose, uh, rosy cheeks of some nature, uh, hair is usually, could be anything, the way of hair. Uh, they usually wear a small hat of some nature, or a large hat. You wear a big hat, don't you? I wear a Yeah, he wears a big hat that covers quite a bit of his hat. And some of them are wearing these little dinky hats. And the costumes don't match. You might have plaids and stripes together, or you might have polka dots and something else. You know, it just, nothing really matches, and it's usually large and gaudy, sometimes even baggy. You know, so they can move it out. The, you want a costume, if you're going to be in a goose clown, you want a costume that you can move in. Okay, you don't want something that's going to be fitting you. Now, jeans is one thing, you know, but you find like a pair of slacks and stuff, there's times when you're just not going to be able to move uh, in those slacks. Your, the, your, what physical stuff that you're doing won't allow you to do that. You'll rip the, rip the pants or stuff. You know, same thing on shirt. You want it large and bulky enough that you can move around in. Okay, the next one is... You know, there's another picture of that, that thing there. That is a, a white face clown. It's a good or it's a comp, supposedly a copy white face. Be sure it's pretty bad. Yeah. That's an example of some of the older, the older way back. It is actually probably one of the first circus clowns. Yep. And of course, time changed and they've improved. Uh, next time the clown past that is the hobo. Hobo, he's a hobo. Hobo, if you notice, he has. Fairly ragged clothes, but he's got patches and stuff. He's got some shoes that are taped up, but he, you know, he, the stuff that he has, he's semi, my, make sure you understand, semi tries to take care of himself. In other words, if it rips, then he can patch it. Okay, if he can't, then okay too. Uh, he is the type of person that would maybe go out and sweep up something for a quarter or something. So he can buy something with me. Doesn't always work that way, but he's willing to do work. Just not a lot of it. The other part, you know, the next one now would have been the tramp clown, bottom of the barrel. And the tramp clown is a clown that has, um, he won't work or anything. He's just too lazy to work. He doesn't take care of his clothes. If his clothes is ripped, they're ripped. Uh, you know, the, the hat is the same way. The shoes, he doesn't, he doesn't take care of himself because, you know, he doesn't have the will to. Not that he just, you know, can't. He just don't care. You know, and he'll ride the rails and whatever, and he rips his clothes or whatever. That's fine. Myself, my costume, if I take that into the, uh, the cleaners, I have to sign a waiver 
that they won't destroy my costume. If they destroy my costume, they rip it, that I won't make them fix it or, or pay for it. If you rip it, that just adds to it. <laughs> you know? Don't try to rip it, but if you do, okay. Because that's what my costume is. It just rips and tears. And so, uh, and it's true, uh, there is times when I didn't have to fix it because it literally falling off my body. I had to actually sew bits and pieces of it back on because you know, like I, said, I put, my, put my pants on and they were like falling off. So. Uh, next time is character climb, as you can see on the next page. Character clan basically, there it is, is a, uh, somebody that has the makeup on and he puts on his uh, uh, his clothes and stuff and does it as a, uh, uh, a type of clown. Like, you got a cowboy here, you got a, a worker down here, some other cowboy, Batman. Batman the clown. That's weird. I agree with you on that one. The next type is called the Light the Goose. It's not there, uh, it's not a picture right here, but Light Goose would be more like the Goose Clown. His, care, his clothing is more, does not match, per se, but yet it's not anything like the Goose. It's closer to being matched. They, it's also tighter. They are not, I mean, they're, they're not really baggy. They're loose, but not baggy. And a lot of times it's like a suit jacket, pants and stuff like this that are really straight. They do wear a hat that's usually not like a derby, but a flexible hat. They can maneuver and uh, their makeup is a lot lighter. It, it doesn't on, a, re, on a, a full of goose the whole face is covered. Light of goose, you're going to have some, maybe some red on the cheeks, a little eye makeup around the eyes, so maybe a mouth, maybe a nose, maybe not. And then that's it. You don't have all the rest of the makeup. It's still much easier to put on. But depending on, on the type of plan you want to be. Now, not everybody wears makeup. Not everybody that's a clown wears makeup. Warren Hardy, Abbott Costello, uh, Lucille Ball, Ball uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 Carol Burnett. Three Stooges. Three Stooges. These are all clowns. Uh, and yet, they don't wear makeup. They don't have to wear makeup. They are just the fools as themselves. And a lot of times, just going out there and making a fool of yourself, you don't mind. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I don't have to wear makeup a lot of times to make a fool of myself. You can usually catch it say, <laughs> I want to make sure that I know that I'm the fool. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of them like that. And we also have a lot of the, the movie stars and stuff that actually are clowns. You have Red Skelton. You have, uh, I mean, you know, he's probably the most famous of those clowns. You have Ernest Borgnine was a tramp clown. Jerry Lewis was a tramp clown. Uh, yeah, several out. 